Our next speaker is a local speaker from the Cleanum Lab, so from the heart of Cleanum, uh, University of Basel. So it's a great pleasure to welcome Maurice Nigel. Yes, thank we you. We stay with the African continent, but we switch to a really neglected, a much more neglected even than malaria uh, disease, cystosomiasis. Thank you so much. This one? Yes, this is forward. That's the point. Ah, point now. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. First, I'm uh, very uh, thankful for Patrick and uh, Dr. Beat for inviting me to present my finding in this conference. My name is Maurice. I'm from, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm from uh, uh, Nyakunde Hospital, both uh, working and teaching laboratory techniques. But now I am a PhD student here at the University of Basel. This afternoon, I am going to talk about new data and covering a new problem in uh, uh, Eastern Congo, schistosomiasis. The aim of this talk is, is to bring you in the environment of healthcare in DR Congo, and in hope that new nanotechnologies may contribute to uh, improve healthcare in developing countries, thereby to help uh, the poorest. Democratic Republic of the Congo is a, is a bigger country in Africa, in Central Africa. It's divided into 26 provinces. We, among them is Ituri province, at the northern eastern, and the capital city of Kinshasa. It's roughly 2,000 kilometers from Kinshasa to Ituri. Democratic Republic of Congo has about 82 million inhabitants, and 44% of them are children. In this slide, I like to highlight two points, that DR Congo experienced two great wars, the first war and the second war, and the, the population is the poorest in the world as I found in, in this uh, document from uh, Wikipedia. It's the poorest population. About his history, it was the property of King Leopold II of Belgium. Then it became a colony of Belgium, and uh, it received uh, uh, his uh, li uh, liberty or freedom in 1960. But since this time, DR Congo did not experience real peace because many people are trying to fight him about his uh, uh, minerals. DR Congo is uh, very blessed. Uh, nature has blessed it with uh, several minerals, a good uh, soil, a large forest, and many resources, but all of these resources uh, hide the disparate situation of its population. Why did you do our study? Since uh, Professor Patrick visited our country 32 years ago, I think he witnessed the situation of infectious disease in our country. And uh, since the, this time was born the uh, concern about the rapid diagnosis of disease and the, the good care. But if you read in several papers, you will know that uh, uh, data is very scarce about the uh, burden of the disease in DR Congo. As for schistosomiasis, the only data that are available are 
from colonial times. Working with my students, I found that histosomiasis is more prevalent than expected. As there was no data, we projected to make field studies. First, we needed to know the prevalence. After that, to know about morbidity and risk factors. What is schistosomiasis? Schistosomiasis is a neglected tropical disease caused by a flatworm of the genus Schistosoma. Six species of Schistosoma uh, cause, the, uh, cause the disease, are responsible for the disease. How then people can get the disease? It's with contact with water. In water, the cercaria, which is the, uh, is the infective stage, can penetrate through the skin and it reach the lungs and then the liver and there it become a adult worm and the fem female and male. Those adult worm live in the blood vessels and the female releases her eggs in the blood vessels and the, the eggs reach the intestine lumen and when people who are infected you don't use toilet, they can uh, release the Okay. Okay, thank you. When people do, don't use the toilet, then they can uh, release the eggs in the environment. And in contact with uh, water, the myrecidia will hatch from the egg. And it swims in the water and is swallowed with the, by the snail and into the snail, after several stages, it becomes a cercaria and the life cycle is looped. How can we do the diagnosis of uh, schistosomiasis? There are several techniques and tests that can be used for the diagnosis. And uh, I can say that there is no standard technique but in this moment, catocat technique is used as a standard technique for uh, searching the parasite in the stool. There's also the circulating cathodic antigen test, rapid test, which can be used for the determination of uh, infection in the urine. But all these tests have their own drawbacks. Where did we do our study? As I said, DR Congo is a large country and we worked only in our province, this province called Ituri. And Ituri presents a large geography variability. You can see here the big lake Albert and here the mountainous region, highlands, and here the plateau region and the low land in the forest. Ituri has about 5.2 million inhabitants from 40 tribes and the five ethnic group. Ituri is suffering the consequences of war in DR Congo. And the, the most reason for this, this conflict is the control of minerals. As you can see here, the environment of our stud was not very easy. Here is uh, the artisanal pit, and you see here the UN soldiers because the country has a political instability. 
And here also, the soldiers who are fighting. How did we do our study? We made, we made do two, two uh, studies, two surveys. In 2016, we visited random village across Ituri region. And uh, people were asked to provide one stool sample. And in 2017, we visited only the village where we found that the prevalence was high. And uh, people were asked to provide one stool sample per day for five days. And at the last day, we asked that they gave also urine. And uh, they were invited for clinical examination and for ultrasound uh, examination. We planned our study, and uh, it was very difficult to do it, but we are happy that we found funding from uh, people who has uh, cancer from, uh, for uh, uh, disease of poverty, and uh, we managed to, to make our study. What, how we did? We followed all the good clinical practices and requirements. And uh, when working, we found several problems. Between the problems, the most important was the, the quality of roads. For that, we didn't reach several villages because the roads were, were bad. As you can see in these pictures, the, there's, a, there's the quality of roads. Man, many roads in, in DR Congo are like this. And uh, you can see here that there is no bridge. When you need to go to the other village, you cannot. But, however, we managed to visit 51 villages in 2016 and 13 villages in 2017. For the overall study, we made the examination of more than 3,000 people. Participants were both female and male from all the ethnic groups and from rural and the urban area. Our finding in 2016, you can see here, as we asked only one sample of, of uh, stool, the prevalence was 40%, overall prevalence. And in 2017, using one sample, it was 38%. Using two samples of stool, it grew to 48.9. Using only the CCA test, it was 63%. But combining two stool samples with the CCA test, the overall prevalence grew to 70.7%. As you can see, the prevalence is very high. But you can say here that one cut or cut is not enough to determine the prevalence. And here you can see the village that were visited. At the northern part, the prevalence was low. Also in the highlands, there are the highlands, it was low. But at the shore of the lake, the prevalence is, is, was high. Here, we were so surprised to find very high prevalence. For all the study, the very high prevalence wa was found here. When we read uh, the paper of colonial time, it was only 20%. But we found 94% of prevalence 
in this village. The main factor risk oh, the main factor risk are age group and exposing activities. For morbidity, we found that there were many cases of morbidity. As you can see, this woman has a liver enlargement and spleen, and this man has ascites. We found also other indicators of poverty, as you can see here, very poor population, lack of information, and uh, people don't receive uh, the treatment, and the people don't know also about the disease. What does results mean? That they mean that the situation is alarming and there's a need for urgent intervention. And what we expect from uh, uh, nanotechnologies or testing strategies, we hope that new tests may reach the criteria, the assured cri criteria for tests affordable, sensitive, specific, user-friendly, rapid, robust, equipment-free, and mainly delivered for those in need. We hope that with our, uh, our foundation, we will plan a, and set up a project of control of this disease in our province after publishing our result, We can conclude that our study was the first since colonial time, and the results are alarming. That min the wealth of mineral cannot help our population, and the, the public health care does not reach population in need. We need to thank our contributors. There are many. Also, our participants in several villages, and also our team, work team, in 2016 and in 2017. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much.